Hey friends! Well here we are in April and uh, I really haven't uh, proactively been out looking for any birds this month so that's what I'm going to do this morning. Well, here I am at Snail Lake and lots of bird sounds this morning. The common ones, Robin, black cap Chickadee, Cardinal, Blue Jay, This is a pretty popular place in the spring and summer. There's nobody here today. There's a pileated. Also heard a hairy when I got out of my car. So the birds are around. We did get a fresh dusting of snow last night, not very much. It's almost mid-April. female cardinal. There she goes. That was fun. I'm kind of surprised that I've been able to walk right past him. Cardinal is really, he's really not shy. Let me show you one more time. He's now on the ground. Aaron and I wondered why more people didn't make videos of them being out birding, especially early on, and we now know the answer after a year of birding, which is um, most people, I think, bird to enjoy getting outside and enjoy nature. I mean, there's everybody has their own reason. But I think generally speaking, people like getting out and disconnecting and doing that, and uh, as do I. And so I think we found our answer over and over and over again as we started to do this a little bit, which is there's a lot of gear. Um, Aaron is not a new photographer, but I'm a pretty new photographer. Um, there's a lot of gear. There's a lot to learn. We don't know the bird sounds be a little overwhelming but we're learning and it's been fun really fun along the way it was really really uh, enjoyable I think the most notable um, I saw my first common loon of the year it was really good to just see uh, a lot of the a lot of birds out and uh, a really really enjoyable time well that was a good example of the challenges of what I'm trying to do. So I saw a golden crown kinglet. Of course I had my monopod on my big camera because I was planning to get out by the lake and try to snap some photos of waterfowl. And then I'm in the woods and changing my camera settings on the fly and trying to get the monopod off. <laughs> but uh, it is better than sitting in the office, I guess. So. Uh, fun stuff. Ran Lionel Lakes. Ran Lionel Lakes. And Darren had a sneaky suspicion that the Aspreys might be back. You don't have one of these this year, right? I don't have an Osprey. So this like would be Osprey like... A lot. And you love Ospreys. Mm -hmm. Well, originally I thought they were getting up to something, something. I did! And the other one, like, braced for it, so yeah. it's not like it was unexpected. And then settled next to it. Huh. Actually, I think there might be some cool things here. So we might be able to find baby Aspreys. That was cool. Yeah. Erin, with her eagle eye, just spied some ducks 
I don't think I've, I've really gotten to actually look at a northern shoveler yeah. before. I yeah. mean, it's been one of those birds that's been out on the lake through the scope. Lots of birds. Yep. There's some northern shovelers. Yep, you've seen them, but... So and you, today, like, they're out there. You get to observe I it. get to watch them. Yeah. yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And I think... I think I got... I'm hoping that one of these ends up being good enough that we can show you. I tried to take some video, too. We'll see if it, if it worked. Sometimes... Nice. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You're a little bit on fire today, Aaron. We've got a bird on a fence post. Now that you're looking at it, what is it? It's a northern shrike. Nice. Which is not really a new one for me this year, but... No, but it's a good bird. Yeah, he is. And he's just sitting on a fence post. Uh -huh. Usually I see him at the top of trees. So we're over here because you know there are meadow larks here. This is this is. And the these would meadow, be eastern meadow larks. Eastern meadow larks. I don't want to jinx this, but I've been over here like four times in the last probably forty days. Mm -hmm. I've seen them every time, or heard them. Yes, but I'm with you this time. You are, you are the secret weapon. <laughs> Saw them recently, but you just couldn't get a good shot. Yeah, it's like an ongoing thing between the two of us. They're like my nemesis right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't see anything though. What? Where is it? Okay, I just heard one. Yeah. Who are you going to keep your eye on it? Well, I was trying to. See? I know what's in that slinky tree. This is what I'm talking about. Right here, little buggers. Doesn't mean it's not there. I just don't see it. It's out there somewhere. That's why I brought you on to tell me that the metal arcs in this metal. I've heard them in four times. <laughs> I'm sorry. And she's fired. I'm not a fired. Okay. What? Proba what? Probationary period. I can hear it. Does that count? I've heard it every time. You answer the question, does it count? No, it does not count. Those are little birds. I don't know what those are. Oh, look at the top of the yeah, tree yeah, yeah, on the yeah. left. Yeah. That's it, right? I don't know, but there's a bird there. Should I try to get that one, honey? Yeah. All right, this won't be a good photo, but let's see if we can get we can use it for identification purposes. I'm pretty sure that's it. That is it. Yeah. See? Yeah, that is it. Okay. All right. So, so. get that bird. Uh, it sounds pretty. They are pretty. The sound is great. The color is great. They I just, see him over there. They just don't. He's still there. It's funny because I want him to have some. That is him singing. Okay. Do you want to just try from here? That's a pretty good shot. I think so. I mean, I have to see through my... Here, let me give this back to you. Okay, thank you. Which means you can see his whole yellow chest. I mean, they're not even that rare of a bird. They just have been elusive for me. The weather and the conditions are really good to get out and get some good photographs today. So even though it's wet and drippy, um, I'm going to see what I can find. I already found both some green wing teal this morning and some blue wing teal this morning. Um, both were, were birds that I was hoping to, to catch um, here this month. So um, I, think I, I think I got them, but uh, I'm going to keep walking because there's a lot more here. Um, I'm along a, a pretty quiet area and I'm in the woods, so, um, so, I also, I love, I love the sound, I just love it, if I find something more, I will obviously share it with you. Well, I'm driving down the road, and, I look over 
and there they built the Kingfisher. Right next to the road, on a stump, as I'm driving by it. It doesn't move. So I stop pretty tactfully, and I photograph it for a while. This has been kind of fun, just literally watching them. Slowly. It is though, it's only 38 degrees and about a what, 12 mile an hour wind. So it's a good day to mostly be birding from the car. Yeah, it's only 38, isn't it? Yeah. That's the sun is out, so it feels warmer, but it's not warmer when you get out there for 10 minutes. Aaron, I had no idea that this was your first Eastern Bluebird. Yeah, I've never seen one before. Yeah, what'd you think? He's so blue. Isn't he cool? Yeah, he's really cool. A lot of different sounds today. A little bit of sand hills. So that was crazy. You thought it was a mink. I th well, I thought at first it was a mink, but and then, then it climbed started the tree. to climb a tree. Because his little face was like, his little nose reminded me of like a koala nose, kind of. Yeah. That was a porcupine. Porcupine, right? So I'm yeah. glad I didn't get any closer to him. He was so cute peeking around the tree at me like, don't look he, at me. He was pretty cute. He was adorable. But anyway, good day. It was a really good day. On to the next. I knew that April was going to be a month filled with waterfowl, but I remember wondering about there's teal, there are mergansers, there are grebes, and there are loons, and I'm missing some. Mergansers are ducks. There are three kinds that you can find here in, in this area. Uh, and what's interesting about mergansers is they have serrated edges on their bills. So um, they're not teeth, but their bills uh, on the inside are serrated. And one thing I did learn about grebes that I thought was interesting is that rather than having their bill being flatter on the top and the bottom, like you can imagine a duck's is, a grebe is actually has a flatter, the flatter part of their bill uh, is actually on the sides. So I was driving by and I saw a um, pied-billed grebe and it, it did the funniest thing. I looked over at it, I actually stopped and rather than dive, it just kind of sunk. So I'm not exactly sure how it does that, um, but it is, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, so anyway, grebes are different and loons are also in a different family, I think from both grebes and from ducks. And so um, here in Minnesota, we have the common loon, in fact, it's the state bird. Um, and we do see them pretty regularly. Uh, and um, it's not a duck, it's not a grebe. So um, that was new information for me too. The other thing we see a lot of is coots, American coots, and they again are different than all of those other birds. Look at their feet, um, their feet are not webbed. And one last thing, teal. Teal are ducks. Um, not exactly sure even what makes them distinct, but um, they are indeed part of the duck family, just like the mergansers are. So that's, that's what I know, that's what I've learned. Um, hopefully um, that clarifies a little bit, it did for me. Um, there's a lot more uh, information there to learn. On the note of elusive birds, I'm going to share the ruby crown kinglet with you uh, this month. There is a, a stick in the way, but uh, the bird is in focus. You can barely see the little uh, ruby marking on his, on his uh, crown. Um, chased it for a while, took lots and lots of photos. Uh, something that pretty well shows the bird, even if it's not the ideal photo. I also had kind of a fun experience really close to where I live. I had been out the day before, had tried to catch some photos of great egrets, and there's a lot of them around where, where we live, And um, but they do tend to spook fairly easily, and you know, they like a certain habitat, and that habitat usually is in the weeds or the grass or 
I just went for a walk one morning. It actually was kind of dreary. Um, there wasn't really anybody around. I went for a walk, and sure enough, I, I found a couple of them out close to where I live, and so I got some pretty good photos of them. And then I walked down the path a little further to, to go to a pond that also, just to see what was there, I found a yellow-bellied sapsucker, and it was just right there. Um, most birds don't um, just hang out kind of in my line of sight, but um, he didn't, he or she didn't seem very, uh, uh, very concerned. So okay, that was kind of neat. Uh, I did have to take a trip over to South Dakota, I brought my camera with, and on the way out, I saw a couple of shorebirds, um, both uh, greater and lesser yellow legs. I'd seen them both before, but I hadn't seen either of them this year. So I saw them both at the same time, and the, the, the size difference and the behavior and the calls are a little different, and you can tell them when they're together. So that was fun. I had a chance to see a pair of cowbirds. Cowbirds are actually considered parasitic. The female lays her eggs in the nest of other birds and then those other birds don't know any different and they feed those birds and they can crowd out other species. The cowbirds followed the wild bison herds and the only way that they could raise their young is by actually relying on others to do it. So it's kind of an ingenious way for the species to continue on. I still think they're jerks, but I understand why they're jerks. The other thing I saw on my trip to South Dakota was uh, some Franklin skulls, and I had never seen Franklin skulls before. In fact, I didn't know they existed. When I first saw them, I thought they were a different kind of gull. What was interesting to me there it was their pinkish hue on their breast, and as I understand it, I think that fades over the course of the year. And they were um, a noisy and very interesting bird to look at. I, I wouldn't have seen them closer to where I live, so um, that, was, that was a good thing to see on the, kind of the prairies of southwestern Minnesota. I saw a lot of yellow-headed uh, blackbirds. I had seen one uh, earlier in the month, but again on that same trip I saw a lot of yellow-headed blackbirds. And those are our birds for April. We'll see you next month. So wrap up, this is the wrap up. This is where we wrap up. Is this the wrap up? This is the wrap up. For a second. There you go. Yeah. There you are. Hi. Really oh, funny, hi. after all that. After driving back to the house, And it is your set that I left behind. That's okay. <laughs> I would have thought he'd be braver since he can stick the well, I know, but Jesus it's not like he can shoot him at you. That's a fallacy. <laughs> you have to touch him. <laughs> well, here we are. It is the 2nd of May. So, uh, April's over. Yeah. <laughs>